a sequence of surprises that were shared in a series of TikTok videos with more than 10 million views. So here's the story. Follow me, follow me. When Willie Jones decided it was time to take his relationship with his partner to a new level, he came up with a very special surprise proposal. Take a look. That's just the start of the twists and turns. Look what happened next. I now pronounce you husband and wife. What God has joined together, let no man put asunder. You may kiss your bride. Okay. Willie surprised the love of his life, Tiffany with a wedding, and just minutes into their engagement, they became husband and wife. Yeah. Tam Fam joining us today from Birmingham, Alabama. Please welcome TikTok famous newlyweds, Tiffany and Willie. Good to see you. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Leon was just saying, sometimes you meet people and you feel like you've known them. I've seen this video so many times. I feel like I've known y'all. <laughs> um, millions of views. I got to go from the beginning. So, because it is really stunning to follow it. So, Tiffany, it all started with a surprise for Willie's 35th birthday. Yeah. So, you thought you were surprising him for the birthday. You had the white cocktail dress on. Mm -hmm. Did you have any idea that something else was underway? No, not at all. I was so busy with planning his surprise birthday dinner, his 35th surprise birthday yeah. dinner. They caught me off guard. They caught you off yeah, guard. They caught me off guard. <laughs> so, to add to the suspense of all this, you had only been together eight months. Yes, ma'am. Eight months. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> they were like, wow. <laughs> I mean, eight months just to get engaged is a big step. How did you know that Tiffany was the one? Uh, I knew that she was the one when we could hold an eight-hour conversation on the phone and then and not get bored. <laughs> and not but get bored. Never awkward. And then she stimulated. Love at first sight, she said. <laughs> what was it like? Because how did it, we talk about how it started, how it's going. How did it start? Well, it first started, he um, he messaged me on a dating app, which oh. be okay. That's why I'm team dating app. I'm yes. telling you, people go on dating but app. But it's a twist to uh -oh. it. We only talked for one day. One day? One day, and I stopped, I stopped responding back. Oh. And then one day, <laughs> one yeah. day, I went to church, and um, I was just going to church, and the pastor was preaching, and he stopped in the middle of his sermon and said, like, the Holy Spirit was talking to him, and he stopped and asked me, was I single? And I said, yes, I am. And he was like, well, Willie's single too. He was, on the, <laughs> he was the cameraman. <laughs> <laughs> so y'all got hooked cameraman. up at church? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. So after you accepted the proposal, you were stunned. And then the next thing you know, you, you saw this card that said, meet me at the altar? Yes. Who yes. was holding up the card? So after he proposed to me, I went in a back room and my friends gave me a card. And on the outside of the card, it said, um, I can't wait to marry you. And then when I opened it up, it, it said, said, meet me at the altar. Did you know he meant right then? No, I was confused. I was like, meet You're me like, meet me at the altar. altar? You had no idea he meant right then. Where did you get a wedding gown from? <laughs> <laughs> well, my friends help him. Um, my friends actually got the wedding gown for me. One of my closest friends, Kendra, she is getting married this year. Uh -huh. And so we've been looking at dresses for her. But of course, you know, when girls get together, we all try on dresses. And I fell in love with a dress. And, we and Kendra on the... told Willie about the dress. Yes. And Willie, you got the dress. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So everybody's dressed because they think they're going to Willie's birthday party. Mm -hmm. You have your gown. Did you approve of the gown? Because it is beautiful. Oh, I love it. Okay, love all right. It. So you had the gown. Were you nervous during all? I mean, I would think something is going to. There's no way I could pull off this many secrets. <laughs> oh yeah, I was super nervous, like extremely nervous, especially trying to keep the secret from her. How many people knew about this? Yeah. It's stunning dress. How many people in all knew about the secret? 
starting out, yeah. uh, it was about six people. Six people. About six Never, people. ever get rid of those six people. Because they kept that secret. Those yeah. are keepers. Those yeah. are keepers. Yeah. But here's the deal. Tam Fam in the studio and at home, if you think that was the only surprise, oh, no, no, no. A twist that you won't see coming. We'll be right back. I was in charge of the logistics. My job was to keep Tiffany from knowing what was going on. The things that we were doing for my wedding, like going to see dresses and stuff, I used as a moment for her to try on dresses. My role in all of this was basically decorating. Getting the singer for the proposal. Making sure Tiffany's hair was together. Our friendship has been definitely a ride. She is the most amazing friend. I wouldn't have chose anybody better for Tiffany. I knew that Willie was the one. Willie was the one! We're back with Newly Life. Tiffany and Willie, their surprise engagement went viral. So, Willie, in the commercial break, you said you you, you even picked out you alls song, Here and Now. Yes, ma'am. By Luther. You, why did you want that song? Uh, that song, it uh, expressed all the emotions and feelings that I wanted to say, all in that moment right then and there that night. That's beautiful. And I know for you, Tiffany, you lost your mom in 2019. Yes, ma'am. Um, but you were walked down the aisle by your uncle Ricky, who is a yes. friend of our show and a friend of mine, Ricky Smiley. Yes. <laughs> and Ricky is Ricky is your late mom's brother. Brother. Mm -hmm. So here you were with family walking down, and I know your mother was smiling down because oh, you yes. looked just beautiful. Yes. What was that like? Because we, we Ricky was on our show after um, losing his son, and. That's a lot. And then in it this is. moment, a family can celebrate together. Yeah. Um, I think we're happy that we was able to celebrate something within our family. Um, we had a lot of losses. It meant the world to me. My mother and my father passed um, a couple of years ago. So to have my father figure there, which is my uncle slash mentor, to walk me down the aisle, it meant the world to me. <laughs> well... Your uncle is busy on the radio, but he wanted to send a special message. Take a look at the screen. Hey, Tiffany, this is Uncle Ricky. You know, we just want to thank God for giving us our family, considering everything that we've been through this past few years with you losing your mother and losing uh, Brandon, who is like a brother to you. Y'all was raised under the same roof. But God always, always uh, provide and supply and just giving us these simple moments of happiness. It was an honor to raise you, but I just wanna say that I absolutely, absolutely love you and I'm proud of you. Tamarin, Tamarin, what's up? Hey, Tam you know Tamarin, my home girl. Texas, Texas in the house. All right, love you, congratulations, peace. Aww. Willie, the fact that you got Ricky Smiley to keep a secret yeah. is a stunning right. thing. Yeah. I mean, you understand, once you told him, it, the cat could have been out of the bag. Like, yeah. What does they say? The cat's out of the bag? Yeah. It, so he did a great job, Ricky, keeping a secret. Now, I know um, you have one more secret for your family. Yes. No one in the house or anybody knows what you're about to say. No. Right? Oh, man. Well, take it away. Some secrets around. Ah! So everybody in Alabama, that roar you hear is everybody in Alabama, Birmingham screaming, in Texas screaming, the family for the first time learning the news yes. that there's going to be a baby. <laughs> oh my. Look, I love the words right here baby. Look at the little peanuts. <laughs> How are you? It's been whirlwind. How are you feeling? Oh, I am just overwhelmed with joy. God is so good. So good. Okay. Yeah. We waited to have sex um, into our wedding day. 
And so... I wasn't expecting you to reveal that, but go ahead. Yeah. Tiffany said we waited to have sex until our wedding day. Yes. That is so and sweet. And so that was our surprise, our gift from God after that. So oh we're excited. Oh, my gosh. Well, listen. Mm -hmm. One of the fun things... Well, one of the best things I love about our show is that you can see a video and you don't know the backstory of how it happened. So here you are, millions of people seeing that video, but the backstory of the loss of your parents... Um, what this means to you as a couple, the faith that you share together. Mm -hmm. You don't see that in a video. But that's why we talk to people. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much for sharing your story. And the, I feel like I'm holding the baby and the little baby on the way. <laughs> Keep us posted. Congratulations, Willie and Tiffany. I have a testimony. Oh, yeah. oh Tiff. <laughs> Uh, first of all, uh, it's been a rough year, and God is good. I don't care how rough your year has been. Man, God will turn around and show you something every now and then. He'll give you some little nuggets from going to uh, Brad House and, and being with her and uh, uh, my newest God child uh, and, and being there, having that quiet, intimate time. And so yesterday, my niece Tiffany, uh, uh, who was raised in my house. Uh, her mother died, which is my oldest sister. Uh, Trina passed away some years ago. Uh, Trina passed away and uh, family just de devastated. Uh, and she met a nice guy at church, at the church that she go to. I think she go to the Rock Church. Uh, 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 is that Pastor Mike? Yeah, Pastor Mike. And met the guy at church, was introduced by the pastor, as a matter of fact. And I said, that's your husband right there. And I... First of all, I want to say thank you. But I don't mean, it wasn't my head to stand some chance or love. It was all God, master strategist. It was a bit different. Yet yeah, God has his own way of doing things for us to know it was all him and not ourselves. I thank God daily having brought you in my life. You made my life so much better and worth living even more. When I look at you, I see a future. I see someone I can and want to talk to about anything and want to do everything with. The person I want to create memories that last a lifetime. The love we have is the type of love people dream of. And I'll fight for you every breath of my body, give anything for you because you mean that much to me. You're imperfectly perfect for me. You're fearfully and wonderfully made just for me. Thank you for continuing to choose me and choosing to deal with everything that comes with you. Thank you for never giving up on me. I pray you never do. No matter what comes our way, as long as we stand together, there's nothing we can't do. With you, life is limitless. I pray God continues to give me patience as we continue to grow together. I wouldn't change anything about you, but there's one thing I do want to change about you. It's only, it's only one, baby. <laughs> They, they was dating, he was coming around. You know, Brett, if, if I let somebody come over, they must be really nice. Young man came over, introduced himself. I like the way he shook my hand. I like the way he made eye contact. He treated me like he had respect for my niece, which is like a daughter to me because she was raised in my house. And um, man, it was supposed to be an engagement last night. She came down the step, Brett. And he got on one knee. Somebody was singing. Uh, the mayor was there, and he proposed to her. And guess what he said at the end, Maria? Guess what he said? What did he say? After he, after he put the ring on the finger, guess, guess what he said? What? Yeah, I knew I was going to. It was a surprise on top of a surprise. Uh, what surprise? He said, I will meet you at the altar. She, oh was my gosh. she was looking confused. She was looking confused. Oh my God. So she said, okay, that's nice or whatever. Uh, okay, uh, I'm hungry. Are we going out there? And they said, yeah, come here. Let's go down. We finna go over here. We got a little dinner set up in a little restaurant or whatever. Mind you, we on the first floor or whatever. So they take her into a room. We gotta see everybody see their face. We gotta, we gotta see that face. We gotta see 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 We got
You gotta let us see it. You gotta let us see it. My best friend said when it come, girl, you better hold that ugly crack. No, let it out, let it out. Okay. It's all back in my Yes. In a minute. You got about an hour. You got about an hour. So get that ugly cry out. Go and get it out. How do you feel about that, Zoe? I thought you always said you wanted to get married the same, same day. day. You got a dress oh. too, Zoe. Ready? Oh, ready? Wouldn't have missed it for anything. My girls, my babies. All right. Big on T Rose's baby. You ready for that dinner? No, nah, forget the dinner. <laughs> Where's the bathroom, y'all? She has tissue. I have tissue in the basket. Oh, okay. All right, everybody, stop looking at me. I'm crying. <laughs> there was a wedding dress set up with flowers oh, everywhere. Man. Oh. Do y'all hear me, America? I, I have dope like chills. Right That's dope, oh. America. That's dope. Everybody in the car, America, do you hear me? Two, uh, 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 the people in Montgomery that was fighting, do you hear me? <laughs> Chair. Chair people. A wedding dress was there. She started screaming. Oh my! I'm goodness. in the next room. And she always said, if I, whenever I get married, I want, I want Uncle Ricky to walk me down the aisle that's like a dad slash mentor. Or oh, whatever. She had no idea. I'm listening to all the stuff in the neck room. I'm in the room, a dark room with a tuxedo on with the light off. So oh they bring her out of the room after she get herself together. The girl do her makeup. They bring her around the corner. She coming. So listen. My niece is getting married who I raised, but she don't know that I'm walking her down the aisle. She don't even know that I'm here. She coming. Don't mess up your makeup. Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. I love you. I'm so proud of you. You ready? <laughs> you didn't know I was here. Oh. You thought you, you thought I was gonna let a day like this go by and not be here, huh? <laughs> don't cry. Don't mess up your makeup. You look good. Come on, here we go. You didn't know you was getting married today, didn't you? <laughs> and right before the door that we walk out to our audience that's there for a wedding she don't oh even know about goodness she came around that corner and saw me and, and was about to Ooh. scream again she when she saw me standing there with that tuxedo on saw her uncle ricky uh. not ricky smiley her uncle ricky that poured cereal that fried bacon yes. that, that cooked collard <laughs> greens and cornbread and, oh. and and was there uh, uh, when her mama died, my older sister died standing next to her and through through trials and tribulation through her cancer. Yes. She only 33 now. Cancer treatment, all this stuff that she didn't been through. Really? Standing there, she saw her Uncle Ricky. Oh and I extended goodness. my arm and she she put her and I said, Ooh. come on. I said, don't cry. I said, no, ma'am. I said, you just got your makeup done. That's hard. <laughs> I said, I said, we about we about 20 feet, 20 yards from the altar. Ooh. Man, when that when that door opened, man, we was on a rooftop at some building in Birmingham. The oh lights were shining. Goodness. The Alabama, I could see the Alabama theater in the background. Ooh. And man, uh, we was walking down the aisle. Oh, my I got my goodness. niece. That's the second niece I had on my arm, man, that I gave away. I'm so proud to be an uncle, to be a father, to be something to some respectful woman. Yes. And by the way, she has her own business. She clean, uh, got most of the business doing buildings. She got a company with a clean building. She she got banked to be thirty three years old. I ain't I didn't have that much money. At oh yeah, thirty three. Mm -hmm. I seen she looked like money. She oh looked like money. She she was. And she worked she her ass off. Man, we walked down that aisle, man. We walked down that aisle. And everybody had their phones out, man. Every, it wasn't a dry eye. The dude was saying, "I, I know it wasn't. <laughs> I know it wasn't. I walked her up to that. All it, it ain't even just the fact that how the wedding. It was the fact that what she been through. Right now, mind Oof. you, she was raised with Brandon, so she lost her mother. She lost Brandon. That's like a brother to her. 
she sat up there and battled cancer, all that stuff, 33 years old. I'm just so proud of my niece, Portia and Riri, Portia and Carissa, uh, my, my, my niece, Carisha, very respectful. They never gave me no problem. They have always been respectful. And, and uh, Mayor Whooping and uh, his uh, fiance, they put that thing together, man. They laid that thing out, man. That girl had no idea she was getting married. She thought it was an engagement. And uh, they said, man, I, the, one of the proudest moments of my whole life when I was said, I give her away. Dearly beloved, we are gathered together here in the sight of God and in the presence of this great company to join together this man and this woman in holy matrimony. Willie and Tiffany have desired that you join them as witnesses and encouragers, and for that they are grateful. Could you bow your head so that we can pray? Father, we thank you right now for this moment. We bless this unity. I ask God that you cover them, that they will have a purposeful marriage, a prospering family, and a peaceful home. God, may they be blessed from the bedroom to the bank account. God, I say thank you that they won't just get married today, but God, they'll honor their vows for a lifetime. Jesus' name we pray. Jesus. Somebody shout amen. amen. Let me say about the fiance, Rod T. What's up? I was in, I was in there watching the news, my doorbell rung, and there was a gentleman standing there with a suit on. Uh, Mr. Ricky, I would like to have a conversation with you. That man went in my living room and sat down like, a thir I think he's 34, 35, and sat down and had a conversation with me and asked me, uh, I would like to marry your niece. Very respectful. This is what I'm talking about, man. This is what I'm talking about. This is why I was glad to walk her down the aisle and give her away how respectful that young man was. I don't know who in the hell raised him, but whoever his parents is, uh, really, I really want, I, mean, I can't wait. I think his parents was there. I met him last night for the first time. Man, that was, that was a very respectful young man. And she got married, man. And I, I just thank God for everything that our family been through this year, for God to allow me to see something, to experience what I experienced this week. Man, I'll never get my son back, but God will show. Beautiful. Show you some stuff, man, to give you some little nuggets of happiness. Yes. And I just thank God Ooh. for everything, for every blessing. That song, man, for every, for every mountain you brought me over, for every trial you see me through, for every blessing I say hallelujah, for this I give you praise. Come on now. To be able to experience that and God just giving me nuggets of of happiness i thank him i just thank him Whew. that's a beautiful thing dog for yeah. real it is it is yeah we've been through a lot of stuff congratulations to tiffany uh and willie congratulations to y'all whole wedding yesterday i don't know where they're going so uh, whatever i put on put on a nike jogging suit about 10 minutes after i gave her away <laughs> it was out it was it was gary you know i had to get yes. comfortable i don't like i don't like church shoes Jesus, i, hate you, I don't like church shoes I don't like wooden block church shoes, square toe gators. Be tight, my feet. <laughs> no, you sir. Don't have to wear them picture. Stupid. Not the square. I like, Brad, I did. Went, I went to. Um, <laughs> what's, a shoe, what's a little shoe store that's not that expensive? I, uh, not Zara. Tom McCann. Hell, not nah, Tom McCann. <laughs> Shut up. Not Florsham. <laughs> <laughs> not Florsham. You, I, 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 you know what? He'd be buying the little shoes with the little soft heel. Oh, got the little. You had a little sling yeah. back gator? Hell no. <laughs> Square toe sling, sling back. back. No, that, that, that what you and your whole wedding party had on sling Ooh. back. Jada, when you and Chris got married. Yeah, dog. Ooh. I know. Not the sandals. <laughs> no, no, no. But I had on, I had on some nice little, little, little shoes. But I don't, I don't like church shoes. But that was a, a nice experience. And I just thank God for that. I just want to share that from radio. Everybody that let y'all know that don't give up on love. That's right. It's out there. And then when I was walking down the aisle, let me show how God really blessed me. There's a, a little person that went to Woodlawn High School named Natasha. <laughs> and she was sitting there with some heels on her. Heels weren't touching the floor. She was a, 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 you, can't, you can't say midget. You have to say little person. Oh, too late. Man, when I saw her, man, a burst of happiness just went through my whole body because y'all know how I feel about little people. And she was sitting there with a little tight black dress on, nigga sexy. And you know she all on bow legged like a crab. You know what I'm <laughs> hey, man, go to commercial, man. Y'all can't, can't be serious. Go to commercial. Yes. Yes. 
Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. You gotta leave everybody to see their face. Yeah, we gotta see the face. We got to we see We on that face, baby. See, we've been waiting on this face. You gotta let us see it. You gotta let see it. it. My best friend said, when it come, girl, you better hold yeah. that ugly like crack. Y'all let it out, let it out. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm taking my hair. Yes. yes. In a minute. Mm -hmm. Yeah, about an hour. Yeah, yes. about an hour. Just yeah. get that ugly cry out. Go on, get it out. <laughs> How do you feel about that, Zoe? I thought you always said mm -hmm. you wanted to get married the same okay. day. You got a dress oh. too, Zoe. <laughs> Ready? 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 Wouldn't have missed it for anything. Oh, my, my girls, my babies. All right. All right. Big on T Rose's baby. You ready for that dinner? Nah, <laughs> forget that dinner. <laughs> Where's the bathroom, y'all? I have tissue. I have tissue in my basket. It's oh, okay. Alright, everybody, stop looking at me. Stop crying. <laughs> Alright, so I gotta put the first. The moment you realize it's your wedding day. Yes! 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 Yes!